Two for one jack, splat, just like that. Bring in your tons of information, that's where he's at. He goes around town covering topics you like to know. Body, 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 body. Well, that's what you get when you tune in to the Two for One Jack Show. <laughs>
Good morning, black women. Good morning. Good morning, my sisters. My queens. My mothers. Uh -uh. Today is my son's 21st. <laughs> for me for a couple of reasons. Because Tamir Rex didn't make it till he was 19. He didn't. Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, they didn't make it till they were 21 years old. And so many others didn't make it. So it's emotional for me for so many reasons victory. It's also a victory that he is still breathing and living and thriving. He's serving this country right now in Afghanistan. So thank you for that. So this morning I come in the name of the resurrected Christ, the one whom I serve and whose I am. I was asked to come and bring blessings, to bring blessings. So I come not empty, but I come full. I come with a decree and with declaration for the sisterhood. I come with gifts, bearing gifts of the promises of the Most High. That we shall live and not die, and our work is not in vain. Every seed that we plant, every bit of libation that we pour is going to good ground. So whether we see the benefits, the gifts of our work in the time of our breathing, we know that ours that come after us will benefit. For we stand on the shoulders of those who sacrificed before we were even in the wombs of our mothers. And it matters. The work of our ancestors
so many events that are happening all the time. And um, the kids uh, don't actually have an event after this. And so we thought it was really important to conclude here at the Capitol because PSL events starts here. And it's so important for us as black women to continue to unionize, to come together all the time um, because we are so much stronger. And we also thought it was important for PSL to come and talk about their event because these issues intertwine, they interlace. Um, they affect us all the same. And so I am so excited to hear from you, um, Mina, and I just appreciate PSL being here um, because that's what it's about, us fighting for one another and with one another. So thank you. Because we will not let people get away with killing us anymore. We cannot let black women 
can't be forgotten in the face of tragedy. Black women face struggles of both racism and sexism. Yes. Fighting for equality has to be the meeting point of these two ideals. Remember their names, remember their stories, and fight for your black women. It is time we are protected, appreciated, and given some goddamn credit for all Say it again. Yeah. Again. I found myself asking, what do we do now? My quick response was, shit, what have we done? Why have we been fucking robbed? Right. And I was saying that to the media that we told you guys to make sure the cameras are on. Black women fucking rock! Let's see how we can help 
How you can give back Shaniqua, what can I do? More than calling me? Don't call me, don't text me. I'm sorry, don't be sorry for me. I'm prepared to die for what I believe in. Come on. Which is why I'm here. was not violated. They are allowing us to sue the medical part of the jail that did not give him his medication, but we can't sue the jail alone. I know that black lives matter everywhere, but there is a part of this message that I feel has been hijacked. I am so glad that we have all of the people finally caring about black lives. But what I don't want to get lost is that the Black Lives Matter movement is that it's about the fact that we just want to live. And I think that message is getting lost. for the rest of my life, 
I'd worry. Now, I have two black daughters as well. I do worry about them. I worry about so many facts of their life. But I worry about my boys too. So much. And that's because my girls could pass. That's why I don't worry about them as much. But still, they have the same issues. Yes. So, yes. I stand here to talk to you about black women and our issues, but I also want you to know that when we say black lives matter, we mean that we don't want to die yes. anymore. Mm. In our homes, in our street walking, being pulled over, in our bedrooms, at home. We just want to live. That's all we want. Thank you. Hey mom, hey mom, no. Right. Mm -mm. I should be able to do, 
I should be able to live. I shouldn't have to worry about the consequences of going on a jog, taking a nap, letting my brother play in the front yard, mm. right? I shouldn't have to listen to my dad worry about us playing in the front yard because someone might come by and do something, right? Yes. And I'm so tired. And I hope, I'm here because I hope that one day I don't have to worry about these things. I hope yes. that when I have kids, they don't have to worry about these things. Yes. Yes. I have my nieces and nephews, yes. my guys, and everything, they don't have to worry about these
Katie? Yeah, Katie. You bring your flowers? Yes. <laughs> The police, the police in Denver have a, a, a KKK history. Yes. yes. Um, and, and Lookout Mountain is where they used to burn crosses, mm -hmm. um, and they used to plan things up there. So I go up there and I reminisce. And I, I wrote this yesterday, so I'm going to read it to you. Hmm. They used to light this mountain on fire. Used to burn crosses in robes and white hoods. Sometimes I wake up in the dark and drive here to let the bluebirds sing away the gunshot nightmares, to watch the sky catch on fire, to sit at the burning crossroads of history, to write in the ashes. Because that's what black women do. We metabolize pain, turn sleepless nights into sunrise poems, make everything beautiful, make everything. Lingerie out of death traps, tights out of fishnets, jewelry with our chains. We make oppression look sexy. <laughs> we alchemize pleasure. Elevate in the dark. Smile in the face of history. Pull bluebirds out of white hoods. Fashion wings from flames. Grow even when we're buried. Ribcage planters. Flower pot bellies. We turn lead slugs into movements in our sleep. Every morning that I wake up, I wake up black and a woman, which means that sometimes there are mountain ranges between bed and front door, and we are black women, so we move them, step by step. Black women do not get up, we ascend. Every morning is an uprising, every cell in our bodies conspiring against four centuries of you are not worthy, you are not welcome, and no thank yous, just labor, carrying what will eventually be taken, meals, materials, money, children, country, life. We are black women. The day breaks, but we never do. We are first light. We raise sons, hold space for our daughters, make space for whatever our children are and want to be just by existing. Black woman. I will rise every morning and set the sky on fire for you, for us. I'll sprinkle seeds, watch the tetraphyllis bloom from the crucifix ashes. I'll light up the whole world and I'll start with this mountain. Black woman, these flowers are a promise. I will burn it all for you, for us, so we can plant gardens in the embers so we can have our flowers before we're gone. Smell them too, so we can lay down in a bed of roses, so we can sleep, so we can wake up. I decided a long time ago when I was a kid that I didn't have a choice in these things. 
because I don't. Hmm. Hmm. This is my life, this is the skin I'm in. I'm black first and I'm queer second. And I'm black first because that's what people see. Yeah. Ooh, Come on, I can see my queerness in that closet. <laughs> and it can stay there and live there, but I don't want it to, so I'm queer second. <laughs> And when we talk about black women mattering, we have to talk about trans black women too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Mm. Because we are intelligent. Mm. Yeah. Never give up on your dream. Never give up fighting for what's right because our future is at stake. It breaks my heart that our older generation has to even see this when they fought and gave their lives so that we can be free and we're going backwards and we cannot allow that. I repeat, we cannot allow us to go backwards. When you leave here today, give your grandparents, give your great grandparents a thank you because they didn't get to have a, even a glimpse or a taste of the freedom that we have now. So fight and do not let it go. This is a battle that will last beyond our lives. Yes. Don't give up. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for the truth. Fight for equality and justice. It is our birthright. I don't care what country you're in. It is our birthright.
right? There are so many stories that each one of us have to articulate today, but one of the ones that comes to the forefront of my mind that I really wanted to chat with you about is the absence of color in the media in Denver. Can I get an amen? and everyone else, but where are the black people at, baby? Because you know, we're very capable of writing things. Yeah. We're very capable of reporting our stories. Yeah. We're very capable of fitting in to where the story is, because yeah. we look like the story. We are the story. Yeah. Yeah. We are the story. Once I stick some ink spots in the bowl of milk, that is your newsroom. Project. Yes. Support the New York Times. Woo. Support journalists. I know, I know, I know there's a narrative out here that we're not telling your story. All your story. We gotta start knocking harder on the door, babies. They ain't letting us in. Alright? And some of you really have an affinity for Stacey Dash. Let me tell you, Toronto Burke is a hundred times more beautiful. Don't color me. Don't color as a me, motherfucker.
Moore Consulting. She was our sponsor for this year, and we want to also thank everybody that um, we received donations from. We appreciate and love you all dearly. We also want to shout out Grasp, Premier Inc., Mario Minute Man Press. <laughs> come over and she has a daughter that's mixed and she really wanted us to um, to um, promote an event that is happening her daughter was too shy to do it so um, Sunday September 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Tivoli quad they're going to be building um, it's called community building community is the key to protecting precious light with Tora de la Fonte so it's called cats not Cot Two for one check, splat, just like that. Bring in your tons of information, that's where he's at. He goes around town covering topics you like to know. But, 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 well, that's what you get when you tune in to the Two for One Jack show.